The rain barrel system is certainly the simplest and least expensive way to harvest rainwater. Virtually anyone can set up a rain barrel system. It won't make you water independent, but it can provide lots of water for vegetable gardening, landscape watering, and ornamental fountains and ponds. It will allow you to water or run a fountain when drought stage rules forbid the use of groundwater for these purposes. Every day is a water day when you have your own supply of rainwater. Most importantly, it will reduce the demand for groundwater, which will keep our aquifer levels up and keep hill country springs flowing. It will also make you more conscious about the amount of water we use. Most rain barrel systems use these 55-gallon USDA-approved food-grade barrels. They were once used for everything from cooking oil to olives. These barrels are widely available for $25 to $35 each. An adapter kit can be purchased for a few dollars to allow you to put a hose bib toward the bottom for easy watering. Ceramic urns are also available, and while they are more attractive, they are much heavier and much more expensive. They may also be more susceptible to freeze damage. Place one or more of the rain barrels of your choice under your gutter downspouts and you are ready to go. Mosquitoes are about your only concern. A piece of screen can be used to keep them out, or you can use a non-toxic bacterial product to kill the larvae. These generally remain effective for several weeks. One to two drops of orange oil added every couple of weeks will also eliminate mosquitoes safely and completely. Milan Michalik, a director of the Cow Creek Groundwater Conservation District, has an elaborate rain barrel system. Let's take a look at it. Even though this home was built 17 years ago, it was built without gutters. But you'd be amazed at how much rainwater can be captured in the simple valley. The valley of this roof collects an amazing amount of rainwater in a barrel below it. That's because for every thousand square feet of roof, with an inch of rain that falls on it, approximately 650 gallons of water could be captured. So if one barrel's good, two barrels even better. This small roof off this well house captures plenty of rainwater. This 200 square foot roof, using off the shelf gutters, purchased locally, flowing through a four inch collector pipe, gravity feeds into a 1500 gallon tank storing enough water to meet all the outdoor irrigation needs of this home. The water that's stored in the tank can be stored longer and with better quality by capturing the first couple gallons that comes off of any roof. That's done with a first flush device. This six feet worth of pipe would capture about 10 gallons of water. Once that pipe is full, water flows directly into the tank. And when we're done, in between rain events, just open the tap and drain off that water. The key to storing rainwater long-term is filtration. We want to keep as much organic material as possible out of our storage tank. We do that with the first flush device we just demonstrated. We also filter the water through a nylon sock before it enters the tank. And here we are in the third year of drought in this tank now is full. At the height of the summer, it may be half full, but still water remains. In these barrels, we've stored rainwater. And we'll use this in our yard. But how do we get it out of the barrels? The easiest way is with a bucket. But a more convenient way would be a hose. But to use the hose, we need to use a pump. This one-third horsepower pump We'll do the trick. Once it's powered up, there's more than enough pressure to water the landscape as we normally would. 